I can't get chat. Is Craig in there? From here, either. Right? Uh, he was just here. I'm not sure which way he went. So we want to have happen is we want to find out from Anita and the chefs where they're comfortable. Uh, I think it's probably enough if we, if we shoot on our uh, one thirty five. Mm -hmm. okay. And we shoot from here. We like it from here. Yeah. Here. Are we and then handle it off the? Well, I brought three pieces. Yeah. We're going to see if it's just a nice soft throw in. Oh yeah. It might just be enough. I mean, it's not bad. Right? Um, we're going to find out about that, how long each menu item will take, then we can fill in our program log. Because if you think it's seven items, one hour broadcast, intro, um, the teasers, the buffers, we start getting down like five teasers, teasers and teasers of the chefs. Yeah, the little intro stuff, so three of those, if they're no 30 seconds, it's a minute and yeah. a half. The intro is 40, so it's three minutes, so that's 57. Uh, intro? Yeah. Perfect. The short version? Absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, so. <laughs> Can you go anytime you're ready? Should we bring it again? Yeah, this is short, this is the short, short version. version. Oh, my name is Michael Olson. I'm a chef professor at the Canadian Food and Wine Institute at Niagara College. I'm originally from Saskatchewan and I moved to Ontario in 1984 and I moved to Niagara in 1994. Uh, I've been cooking for 27 years professionally and I decided to get into this because it was something that I wanted to do I like to work with my hands and I, I'm impatient so I like immediate results so I wouldn't be very good at commuting on the highway or sitting in an office. I like to get the job done and I really love making people happy through the use of food and, and good times. My name is Paul Stewart. I'm originally from the village of Alora, Ontario. Uh, currently, I'm living and working on Salt Spring Island, British Columbia, considered to be perhaps the organic capital of Canada. Uh, the Harbour House Hotel is uh, where I'm working. We have a two-acre garden that provides us with uh, a, an assortment of wonderful fruits and vegetables. Uh, we source from the island as well from the region, seafood, uh, proteins, and uh, really have coined the 100-yard diet. I chose this career so that I could, uh, you know, continue to, you know, grow and develop, uh, learn as much as I can about food. Um, really, just scratched the surface in 18 years, and I look forward to many more uh, as a professional chef. Hi, I'm Jesse Vergen. I'm from uh, St. John, New Brunswick, uh, on the east coast of Canada, uh, a little spot called the Maritimes. And uh, I've been cooking uh, since, for about 12 years, and uh, I really love being a chef. Not only do I like being a chef, uh, I like to you know, grow my own food, I like to hunt my own food, I love going through the woods and uh, foraging uh, everything from wild mushrooms to uh, you know, little ed edible uh, herbs and whatnot that you can find. And uh, I think I started this career just, uh, you know, just having such a, you know, a big passion uh, about cooking, and, uh, and yeah, it just sort of took over, and then uh, it becomes obsessive, and you get more obsessed about it, and then you want to do more things with food. So uh, all of a sudden, the path is, paths branch out, and uh, uh, here I am sitting here today. I'm just sort of making a little uh, smoking mixture, uh, a little tea, a little bit of uh, maple chips. I'm just going to heat them up and uh, they're going to create a nice smoke. And smoke these oysters right here, this perforated dish. 
and uh, yeah, it's going to sort of be a little take on uh, well, uh, those canned oysters that you see in the store. Okay. These ones are nice, fresh, uh, uh, a nice, fresh oyster there from uh, Prince Edward Island. Yeah, so, sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, yeah it's going to taste awesome. <laughs> Oysters are a little more uh, difficult to open up. Paul and I were just, just talking about that oh, yeah. uh, compared to uh, some of the other ones. But uh, oh, see that right there? I snapped it. What you want to do is you want to get in there right into this little hinge, and you're it's like uh, you know it's like making love, right? You want to be light but you know firm. <laughs> Um, and you're just going to find that little hinge and it's just going to snap right there. Now with an oyster, the abductor muscle is always right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to force it up a little bit. So I just have that little crack laid right in here. And then I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to sever that abductor muscle. I'm going to open it up. Wow. And uh, as I open it up there, I'm going to make sure that uh, any little bit of, uh, of shell is removed. Any little bit of grit, sometimes there's a little bit of grit in there, it's sort of taken out. And uh, I'm going to make sure that the abductor muscle that's attached right here is actually severed right here too. So that double severing. Make sure that's uh, loose in here. And one thing that you have to uh, watch when you're when you're doing oysters is you don't want to pierce the belly. Uh, the belly that's where a lot of flavors. You pierce that, a lot of the fluids are going to leave, okay. and uh, it's going to you know decrease your sensual experience with uh, the oyster. So uh, this one's my uh, taste tester. So, yeah. Good work. <laughs> And that's the dish thing. Yep, and then the second one is maple ice cream and lavender grapes. Is that also with the uh, chocolate and the ice cream? Yeah, uh, all of the chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Alright, because uh, like, the only thing is I'm not, I didn't see like a picture set put together, I don't have anything of lavender grapes, I don't know exactly what it is. So I'll, I'll try to figure out what it's like. for each bumper. Ah. And how is that going? It's going it's going okay. He wanted something changed at the last minute, which is never fun, but that's okay. It's a pain. I can handle it. Oh yeah. Definitely. And who are you? I'm Dan Aiken. And what are you, what is your role? I am director of this. How do you feel about it? Uh, I'm very nervous <laughs> about it at the moment. Still have I don't know, an hour and a half left. Um, okay, so then Anita is going to introduce all the chefs. What she's saying is this is Paul Stewart. He's from here, worked at this restaurant. And then she's going to introduce all three in a row. Right after she's finishing introducing them, we're cutting to a shot of Paul. They're coming in in order of what station they're at to. So Paul station one, Jen's is station two, Michael's, or no, sorry, one, three, five. And then, um, so we're going to cut to a shot of Paul. And the second we cut to that shot, the second we get to the station, we cut to the interview that we had. And then after that's done, cut to Jesse, interview, then Michael, then interview. We, we want to see texture, we want to see the shine, the sheen, the steam. Um, 
you know, whether it's rough, whether it's smooth, you know, all that sort of stuff. See the bubbles happening in the pans. It, it's all about love. These people can't smell this stuff at home unless they're preparing it alongside. They can't taste it, so we have to use their eyes, show them what it tastes like and what it smells like with our cameras. That's all we've got. You are presenting to professionals of you. So hopefully that stresses you out. <laughs> because I know you all do better work when you're stressed out. Okay?